Place here, back in the video. I hope you guys are doing great. It has just been a bit. We recently left off with a vibe series video. Now, um, I know you guys are probably like, oh, what is this video gonna be? This is away from vibe series. And if you're new to this channel, um, this is going to be a chat system where if someone purchases an item in the game or a shirt, anything like that, then it will put it into the chat and let everyone know that they purchased this item. So it's, it's kind of cool, and it also has a leader stat to it, so if you'd have a home store or anything like that, this is perfect for this. So um, yeah, let's get right into this. Now if you're new to this channel, like I said, please hit that subscribe button and post notifications. It means so much to me, you guys. Thank you much for everyone who is subscribed at the moment. We are so close to 7K, and I'm so happy for that. Also, if you are new to the channel, hit that door scored button in the description, and it will join you. Um, now, we are almost at 900, okay? We're at 864, so that's insane. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the description and you're gonna look for models. It is gonna say the clothing purchase chat system and it will bring you to this right here. You're gonna click here and it should say item owned. Now, firstly, I'd like to say thank you to Nexus. He actually was um, willing to actually pay me for to make this and I was like, you know what? Um, I see, because as you guys can tell, I have a lot of Robux, okay? Um, I'm trying to save up for an outfit and also I'm trying to just do things in general, but. Either way, I'm not really getting paid for what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just here to help you guys out. But I was like, you know what? Never mind, Nexus. You gave me this idea, and I made it in a few seconds. Actually, I'm very surprised. And I don't think there should be anything wrong with this. So we'll get on that. And if you guys do have any questions or comments, leave it in the description because I will help you out for sure. Um, I know there's been a few problems with overhead. Uh, it's not my fault. It's Roblox at the moment. It's really weird. So yeah. Okay. So you're gonna go to Toolbox once you claim it, and you go to Inventory, and it should say this clothing purchase chat system. It's gonna load in a few things. Um, this is the mannequin. Now the mannequin is for what we're using to put the clothing display and everything on there. And I'm gonna show you how to do that, and it's pretty simple. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab this, and actually wait, give me one second here. Okay, sorry about that. So the mannequin will have the clothes on it and everything, but what we're gonna do is you're gonna grab these and ungroup in the right places. So we're gonna go to up, replicate storage, we're gonna ungroup here, we're gonna go to service group service, bring this down here, and ungroup that right there. And we're gonna go to starter GUI, we're gonna ungroup this right here, and then we're gonna go to workspace and ungroup it right here. Now a few of these you don't really need, uh, I'm just gonna explain them pretty quick. Now you guys are probably like twin. Why is my bed right there? <laughs> um, I'll fix my room. I'm, I'll have another video coming soon. You're, you're gonna like it. It's kind of cool. It's more of a vlog, I guess you could say. Okay, so we have a few things in here, and I'll explain them real quick. Uh, if you okay, firstly, let me just actually play it and just show it to you, because that that kind of explains everything. But if you have Vibe Game and you just wanted the the chat to system message to go through, you can delete that purchase leader strap script because that is just for uh, fun, like little system that um players will see how many purchases to have and that is what were you be using to save and i'll show you right here um that is just is just a cool thing now sorry about my output right now i don't know what is going on with my uh this map but it's this map only so see what i mean right here purchases you if you don't you probably have minutes or anything like that then don't worry about it so what's gonna happen is if they click this and it's gonna do this little prompt purchase okay they buy the shirt is going to do this one thing Gonna put it in chat and it says a twin plays dev under she had just bought butterflies front tie exclamation point and then it's gonna say purchases one. Let's go and say we do the boots. Um then it might do another one, okay? Oh, pairs are just emo skirt W <laughs> and then purchases two. And then when you click them again, it already says you've already got them. So that's how it works. And then it does save too. So that's pretty much that. That's an example of what we're doing. It's super simple, uh really cool and everything like that. Now, um, let me get to these scripts. So uh, if you are kind of new, we have a few things here. We have the data store script, and then we have the purchase script. Um, and then we have an event and a local script. I'll open that one too. And then inside we have a mannequin. Um, so actually, let's just do the mannequin right away. So we're going to go to avatar shop or just something new and go to catalog. You can also just grab your clothing, the ones that are in your group. So just go find any of those. Go to your shirts and whatever. And we're going to grab the rainbow hoodie for this one. And we're going to grab this nine number. This is what you're going to be grabbing to get the ID. So grab the nine number and call it good, okay? And then we're going to go into shirt purchase. And these are where you're going to be changing the IDs. So in here, just change that right there. So you're all good. Um, as you can see, this is pants. But we just changed shirt. You're going to close that out. And then we're going to do a few things. We're going to look inside the local script. Uh, well, local script. I'll explain that in a second. And then we're gonna look at purchase script, okay? So these was shirt one and pants one. Um, I'm gonna create a new one just because that's what we're doing. So we're gonna say we're creating a new, we have more stands, we have a bunch of stands. We're gonna say purchase ID three equals this ID. We're gonna paste that here and we'll go, 
uh, pants. Wait, that was a shirt. Yeah, so shirt two. Okay. So what we're doing is we're grabbing the marketplace service. We're making these IDs. So we're getting all these IDs, the asset IDs. And then what we're doing is when the prompt purchase finish, okay, this is a like an asset ID finish, which right here we're doing the prompt purchase, okay, so we're asking the player to buy it. And if they finish it, okay, then we're grabbing the player, the pass ID, and the purchase. If the pass ID, okay, so the ID that they purchase equals uh, shirt one, okay, so let's say it equals shirt one and is purchased, then we're doing a few things. If it is uh, pants one right here, then we're going to do another few things. So what you do to make another one is you just copy and paste right here, and then you'd say, okay, right here, we're going to do purchase ID three, and then right down here, we're going to change right here too. This is because we want to get the product info, okay? And we're also checking if it's purchased. That, that makes sure it goes through, and then we're sending it to the server. And so what we're doing is we're creating this local, and we're getting its info, and we're firing, the firing this event in replicated storage, and we're firing this table of things, okay? So for the text, we're saying player.name, which will be the player's name, uh, yeah, and then we're doing that space, so we can add that little space in between has just bought, comma, space again, asset, so it would be this asset, so purchase ID would be the asset, and then dot name would be the name, so it would be uh, rainbow hoodie, that's what we're saying, telling. And then we're doing a uh, color, so let's say you want to do the color, okay, you want to do the, um, uh, they just bought this kind of game, this shirt, then we're just going to change that color if we want. And there's different fonts you can do, different text sizes. That is all your choice. Um, you can change the colors. That's why I just added this for you. So it's pretty sick. Um, and then we're adding the purchase uh, leader stat right here. So this is when we're adding to the their leader stat to make sure that they uh, they leave with that extra or not. And it just saves to the game. And that's what we're talking about right here. So if you don't want this, okay, so if you don't want that up over top and you're like just talking about the vibe game, you just want the thing, then just remove, uh, you can just comment this out right here. And just comment those out because that will, if you don't do that, it's going to break the script. But just, just comment that out. Um, and then you don't need this. But uh, in the meantime, you do need this for other reasons. But this saves. So basically what we're doing is we're just doing a player added function. And we're creating the leader stats, the purchases. And then we're creating this data store down here. And purchase value equals data dot purchases. And then when they leave, we're going to grab their, da their data and put it in here. So, okay, I don't know why I did minutes. Um... I think I need to change that to purchases. Yeah, so purchases. Sorry, I should, that, that makes more sense. <laughs> so let me do that. But that's pretty much it. Just a simple little thing right there. Um, and yep, then it goes right here. You're all good. And then right here in local script, what we're doing is on client event, we're getting the started UI, set core chat message system, and we're sending that data, which would be this part, all of this right here be sending that to the this event right over here and then we're putting it into the chat system so i hope that kind of makes sense pretty simple guys nothing too crazy just want to make sure nothing too crazy um i hope you did enjoy this video please comment like subscribe and share um i have a lot of videos coming out i've just been pretty busy lately and yeah we have a bit coming out so we'll see you here in a bit but um yeah bye you guys